Hi, welcome to LCI's test prep videos for the GRE. In this series of videos, we will look at the three sections of the GRE exam, writing, math, and verbal. Today, we are looking at the verbal section, and we're going to start with a common question type called analogies. So our first question is, what is an analogy? And the answer is, it's pretty simple. An analogy is just a relationship between two words. So when they give us two words, they separate them by a, com by a colon, rather, and they want us to determine what is the relationship between the two words. Let's look at a really basic one. I'm going to slide out of the way. And you'll notice the words in capital are our, our question words. So our question words are good and bad. So what's the relationship between good and bad? Well, they're opposites. So that's a good sentence to go with. So good is the opposite of bad. Now, you just take the same sentence and you apply it to your answer choices. So man is the opposite of boy. No, doesn't make any sense. Hot is the opposite of cold. Yes, B works. C, dog is the opposite of puppy. Nope, that doesn't work, so the correct answer is B. So that's the trick. You look at the two words separated by a colon, and you try to think of one sentence that explains the relationship of the words. Let's look at one that's a little bit harder. Sometimes you will start with a general sentence that explains the relationship between the two words, and then you'll look at the answer choices and you have to become more specific. I'll give you an example. We're going to start easy and then give it a shot. So, our question words are carpenter and saw. So what is the relationship between the two? The answer is a carpenter uses a saw for his job. Okay, that's a good sentence. Let's apply it to our choices. A stenographer uses a typewriter for his job. Yes, that, that one works. Painter uses a brush for his job. Uh, that one works too. Lawyer uses a brief for his job. Yeah, a brief is what he files for the court. Seamstress uses scissors for his job. Yeah, runner uses sneakers. Uh -oh. All of these work. So like I was saying, we have to get more specific. So what can you tell me, carpenter and saw? We need to be a bit more specific, so I would say a carpenter uses a saw to cut. Okay, let's try that. Stenographer uses a typewriter to cut. Nope. Painter uses a brush to cut. No. Lawyer uses a brief to cut. Nope. Seamstress uses scissors to cut. Absolutely. That one works, but let's check E to be safe. Runner uses sneakers to cut. Doesn't make any sense. There we go. Our correct answer is D. Okay, let's look at one more so we start to see a pattern. So once again, our question words are judge and courthouse. What, are the, what is the relationship between judge and courthouse? Well, a judge works in a courthouse, so let's try that. A carpenter works in a bench. Yeah. A lawyer works in a brief. No, that doesn't make any sense because we said a brief is what he, a paper that he files. So B is wrong. C, an architect works in a blueprint. No, a blueprint is a plan, so he uses a blueprint, but it's not a location. D, a physician works in an infirmary. Yeah, that works. That's a location. Uh, e, landlord works in a studio. Not necessarily. Um, boy, but yeah, a physician definitely works in an infirmary, and a judge definitely works in a courthouse. So our correct answer, again, is D. Okay, so those are analogies in a nutshell. Uh, also on our website, which is listed below, we have more videos um, on the GRE and specifically on analogies that list the five most common relationships tested in analogy questions, which is a good resource. So we will see you again soon.